Hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite movies and today I'm going to be doing a quick movie review on a movie that I watched, I finished watching a couple days ago and that is the newly released movie How to Blow Up a Pipeline. Uh, that's right, that's the name of the movie. So this is the new crime thriller from the production company that is Neon. I saw the trailer on Instagram and on YouTube and I thought it was really interesting and it sucks that no one's watching it because this movie is not bad at all. So this movie is directed by David Gold Haber, whom I am not really familiar with and he hasn't really released uh, an indie film like this before, I believe. I really don't know. But um, I think he was a director of one of the indie horror films a while back, but it didn't do so well because it wasn't that great. So it's really interesting to see this new direction. And it's also really interesting to see what Neon is up to in the future. Sure, A24 is the big thing right now. Everyone talks about A24 and it's in the art house horrors, but really what's been creeping up behind A24 is Neon because uh, lo and behold, Neon has just won four palm doors in a row. Um, but um, anyways, let's talk about this movie, How to Blow Up a Pipeline. It is actually based off of a novel of the same name and it is about a group of uh, young adults um, in adults uh, teaming up to uh, build a bomb in West Texas and blowing up an oil pipeline. And uh, it's actually a really interesting plot and that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to watch this film. The cinematography is really simple, but it's really effective. Occasionally, this movie tries to add a filmic look to the, uh, to the look itself by adding some grain, by uh, making the colors more filmy which is kind of funny, um, but it is really simple and really effective. It doesn't try anything super fancy, so there's that. The music of this movie is very buzzy and electronic and it just kind of works. It reminds me of the score to Uncut Gems, which is really nice and it perfectly fits that intense anxiety inducing in a modern era kind of vibe. Now, if there's one thing that's holding me back from really, really loving this movie, it would be that it's so full of teenage angst vibes. I feel like when I'm watching this movie, I feel like I'm watching uh, Divergent or Hunger Games, except it's for uh, ultra liberals who want to uh, damage property just to save the world. And um, I really, really agree with the sentiment of these characters. I agree that uh, sometimes extreme situations require extreme measures and um, as a person who would really love to see change in the world um, I would totally see people actually doing shit like this and I totally don't mind a movie uh, that sort of shows how people can do things in extreme situations such as blowing up a pipeline because the oil pipeline is ruining the environment giving people sickness and fostering evil capitalism but at the same time it just has this this vibe to it like when i'm watching this movie i feel like dyeing my hair and getting a nose piercing while waving a picket sign with a rage against the machine lyric on it and it's a it's a vibe indeed it is an aesthetic indeed but i feel like it's so obvious and on the nose that that it just makes this movie feel a little less refreshing and novelty. Um, and also, especially with the multiple flashbacks, I feel like I'm um, uh, in some sort of young adult novel on Wattpad or something. But anyways, as a heist movie, I think this movie is really, really solid. It's really tight paced and compelling. And uh, most, most of the characters feel really humane and realistic. Sure, some of them make stupid decisions here and there, but they all feel really realistic. They could be real people. And um, at the end of the day, I think this is a really well-made movie and I hope more people would see it and talk about it. I'm giving How to Blow Up a Pipeline a decent, to strong seven out of 10. So have you watched How to Blow Up a Pipeline? Comments below, let me know, subscribe if you want more and thanks for watching. 
Um, I, um, I'm going to review Ant-Man, probably. I'm going to watch and review it. The new Ant-Man. Yes.